for Japan. They're almost glow in the dark. They have a fluorescent light to them when the lights go out. They have treated them well tonight and wasting no time. Here comes Nikura right on the attack. Good job, good recovery though by Uzbekistan. Oknezarova able to get her hips out. Looks like we're gonna be close to getting a stalemate here and that's what we get. So Nikura initially in on a pretty deep shot, but good flexibility, good hip action by Oak Nazarova and she successfully defends the first shot. Now she comes in with an attack of her own, looking for that head to the outside single, high C type. Go behind now from Nikura. Both wrestlers twirl out of trouble and back face to face. Nikura was given the opportunity to wrestle here at these Asian Championships for the first time when world champion Masako Furuichi moved down to 68. Nikura won the All Japan Tournament. She beat some talented wrestlers, so she's a good one, but again, Anytime you test the waters, stick your toe in the waters for the first time, you don't know how a competitor is going to respond. And like we said, the match that she lost to Kazakhstan very easily could have went either way. Mikura maintaining position. And they are going to put Oak Nazarova on the activity clock. So far, nothing halfway through the first period. You know, reading some of the uh, great work that our local media personnel does with their respective countries. And, you know, I was exploring some of the history of Samire Nakura of Japan and she was kind of joking around with some of the media a few months back, talking about her height for this weight at 72 kilos. She felt that she was going to be the shortest competitor, but you know, she matches up pretty well here in that area with the wrestler from Uzbekistan. Nikura, the first wrestler to win a national championship from prestigious Kanawaga University. at the different universities and the academies that Japan and Tokyo and across that great country have set up. Not only are these athletes excelling on the wrestling mats, but they're also receiving some of the top world-class education as well. And we mention that because of the age of so many of these Japanese wrestlers. We're talking 18, 19, 20, 21 years old, all in those academic phases of their life, not to mention trying to be one of the world's best. Good job there on the go behind for two and finally some offense late in this first period. Nikura able to get the takedown, a three nothing lead. Final few moments of parterre. Oak Nazarova not opening up all that much underneath. The referee will let the time expire and that is it. A stalemate for a good chunk of the period until late in Japan. Now with the advantage up 3-0. Let's go ahead and recap tonight in case you're just joining us. We started at 53. Japan wins gold there with Akari Fujinami. The 18-year-old wins the Asian title. Then they kept it rolling. 57 kilos. Sagumi Sakurai, victorious over on Shu Malik of India. Both those Japanese wrestlers taking care of business in the first period. 62 kilos, the match of the night goes Japan. 19-year-old Nonika Ozaki able to knock off the reigning Olympic silver medalist, two-time world champion and four-time Asian gold medalist Isailu Tanabekova. Winner by injury default. Ozaki trailing 1-0 late in the second period. Was able to score nine straight. Gets a takedown, a passivity point, and then three turns from a leg lace. Tane Bakova injures her leg. She's unable to continue. And then at 65, the goal goes to Japan's Morikawa. And that's where we are now in Japan right on cue. Keeping the foot on the gas. Nikura gets a couple of more.
five nothing lead just underway in this second period. Don't forget, men's freestyle tomorrow. That's how we're gonna wrap up our coverage Saturday and Sunday, a loaded field here at the Asian Championships. Looking forward to it. Nakura's on to something. That time couldn't quite get to the corner. She's hit that go behind a couple of times. Oknes Arova able to get the arm out, kind of cut off her, her angle. Now the wrestler from Uzbekistan in danger of giving out the step out, and she does. Foot went out of bounds. Six-nothing deficit, and it is all Nikura right now. One thing the rest of the world is figuring out, when Japan has their all-Japanese tournament, you better take notice of who is second and third place. Here's a high C into a double and a takedown for two more. Up eight nothing, can she get into that danger position here? And she will, and she's gonna get the fall. Tight on the back, and there it is. Japan puts a stamp on a flat out dominating showing here at the Asians. Winner by fall, late in the second period, Sumire Nikura. Big smile on her face. She will win the silver medal in this way. Now that's the thing. They, they just don't squeak out victories. They destroy their opponents. I mean, that's, there's no other way to put it. Take a look. Nice job there.